All right, what is up? I am about to show you guys this big ass clutch I had while I was playing PUBG Mobile. So I was playing and then I saw the situation I got in, so I decided to swipe up and start screen recording. So once I saw the situation I was in, I got by this tree, I laid my ass down, I started screen recording and I started looking for the squad because there was six people alive. Well, actually five, not counting me. And I knew I had to do something. I didn't know where they were because I kept looking all around. So they had to be in the houses because they're not out here and they have to be somewhere down there. I was pretty nervous because it's a six. Six alive. Well, like I said, five. And they're all against me. And um, well, yeah, it gets pretty hard. So I had to move up once the storm came. <coughs> storm, sorry. So as I started to move up, I saw that there was some people at the window. I didn't know how much there was, but when I saw two, I just started shooting. I had a suppressor, so they didn't know where I was at. When I was playing, I thought I downed two of them, but I actually got one. So that pretty sucked. That sucked pretty bad. And as you can see, I am playing on mobile. As you can see, my notifications popping up. So I saw that guy, and that's when I saw that the whole squad had to be in there because there was two already, and that guy made three. When I saw I was out of bullets for my M16, I tried to switch the suppressor to my SKS, but I guess it was impossible, so I was freaking out because I didn't want them to know where, where I was at, since there was still five alive. <clears throat> I was looking all around, I saw this guy. I didn't want him to get away, so I just had to shoot him down and kill him. <clears throat> Why am I always sick when I make videos? So my whole team was dead. I was the only one alive. They weren't really a team because I was just playing by myself the whole time. It's what's bad about playing with randoms. They always suck and they always try to go by themselves. So now there's five alive, four not counting me. I didn't know what to do because I was just up, up here on this wall. They were all in houses. <laughs> I knew there was one in that red house because that guy I killed outside of it was shooting at something. Or he was going in for something. I can see that guy at the window right there. So that guy that I downed earlier didn't die because he's up right now. But I just knocked him again. I finally finished him after knocking him down two times. <laughs> and I could see one more and I had to knock him. I knew there was someone at the house, so I kept looking to see where they were, but when I finally saw him, I couldn't get a good shot. He kept moving around. Now, as you guys can tell, I've already played this. I'm just doing the voiceover. I just feel like it's kind of cringe because I just keep saying, as you can tell, this is pretty cringe. I was, uh, I was on fire because they threw a Molotov at me. I had never been on fire, so I didn't know what to do. I just started healing up because pay attention to the health. You will see how low it got. If I didn't heal, I would have died right away. That was a good move of me to do that because it saved it saved the match for me. The guy in the red house finally came out and stopped at a good spot where I could take him out. There was still one more. It was a 1v1. I was pretty nervous because I knew he was in the house. And I knew if I rushed him, he would have the advantage on me. <clears throat> uh, my voice was cracking. Sorry about that. The storm was about to shift in six seconds now. I'm sorry if the mic pick up, picks up random sounds. So uh, the storm started moving. I had to run. The The door is closed. And then the door opened all of a sudden. I didn't know where the guy was at. And I had to get in the storm. Out of the storm, I mean. And that's when I got the chicken dinner. Which was pretty weird, but great. Mm -hmm.